Alright, so here I'm changing the exhaust fan motor. I had to rope all my stuff up. I got my van down below there. Rope it up right here. So I got my tool bag. That's the tool bag. A couple of pipes to hold up the hood. Got a new motor. So we got a three phase motor. It's a two horsepower. Gonna put a new belt and a new drive pulley. So we're gonna put it in the hood. One of those hoods over there. It's exhaust hood number 11. So once I get it all, walk all my stuff over there, I'll uh, show you what it looks like. I mean, something's weird because the GoPro was recording upside down. So I don't know. I'm not. I'm not real tech savvy, so that's why I don't really make too many videos. Because. So anyways, this is the hood that I'm working on. There's a fan, the new drive belt, and the sorry, the new drive motor is gonna go right here on this on this plate. Right here, I gotta put it on. And uh, I got the new motor. I was toning out the wires. I don't know how it came out because I seen the thing was recording upside down. But uh, let's see. So I already did it. But basically, what you since it's a three phase motor. You check it for continuity make sure your leads are working I I don't know if the video can see this but I already you know marked the wires but put one on one and it beeps so you know that's I mark it with one dot and one dot so you know that that's a uh, line one I'm gonna put three connectors on here I'm gonna crimp on three connectors before we do anything, you want to make sure there's no power because this is three phase 460 and it could really uh, mess you up. So that's, that switch is on right now, so we got power. So, let's see. You gotta really be careful. Especially working by yourself. Um, you can really get hurt. But, Anyway, so that's that. I'm gonna crimp on three connectors. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop the motor in place. I'll talk a little bit about the wiring. Let's see. Let's see if you can see this. So with the wiring, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to get it to where you can see it, but I don't, I don't know how well this is going to be but anyways the diagram to the left here now you can see it the left diagram is for low voltage the right diagram is for high voltage so in this application you're running this motor is suitable for 208 230 volt or 460 volt as you can see there by my finger so they're considering low voltage 208 230. Uh, high voltage will be 460. So since we're dealing with 460, we're gonna follow this diagram to the right. So you're gonna put line one on number three, line two on number two, and line three on number one. And then you're gonna wire nut six and nine together. You're gonna wire nut five and eight together, and then you wire nut four and seven together, if you can see that. And then if you wanna uh, reverse the rotation, you can swap any two legs, one, three, or two. And it'll it three phase, so it'll spin the other way. So, that's that. I'm gonna take this off, wire it up, get it ready for high voltage, 460. I'm, I'm going to mount it and then I'll show you what I got going on. And I can't drop this motor because it's going to drop down two stories. There's a factory down there and it'll drop down in there. So I got to make sure I hold it and get it in place. Alright. Alright, so I just got it started.
It's good. We got a new motor in there. Now we gotta lower the hood and strap it back down. But uh so yeah, that's this job. It's basically a motor change out. Exhaust hood. They got several of these exhaust hoods all across the roof. Um, I got another fan I got to change downstairs. Another fan motor. I might be able to get some video. I might not because they got to lift me up on like a kind of like a little cherry picker thing, whatever you want to call it, like a little boom truck thing. It's up on. This one's up on the roof. This other motor is right below the roof inside, so they got to put me up on a lift. But uh, if I can, I'll get some video. If not, 